Hi, in the previous video we talked about three basic kinds of tools to measure length. Here I'll introduce you a more advanced tool called vernier caliper here. So on my screen you can see the picture of the vernier caliper and on the right hand side there's a link for you to go to this simulation and I find this is the best simulation for vernier caliper. Once you click the link you will be able to see this website and what you have to do is just to go to the middle and you can see a simulator here click into it it will help you to expand the view this is a virtual vernier caliper so the way that we usually use uh, would be for example if you want to measure the diameter of let's say let's say this thing right then what you have to do is to click this thing in between here so you can see a space here and of course you have to make it you know just uh, tight fit the other interesting function of vernier caliper can do is that if you look at the top there is a flat surface here there's also another flat surface here this can help you to measure the inner diameter of an object for example I have my cup here if I want to measure the inner diameter I can simply put that part uh, on onto my cup here to measure it so it doesn't really matter uh, which one you use the way that you take the reading to interpret the reading is all the same as for the reading, right now uh, is 27.4. Let me maybe just give you a harder one. Or let me just give you this one, 28.35. So what you can do with the simulator is um, you can use the magnifying glass on the right. Then it will help you to zoom in. Right now, I want to give you a few seconds. I don't want to tell you directly how you can read it. I want you to make a guess because in that way, it will just be fun and also you can actually remember better. So I'll give you a few seconds. Now think about why this is 28 and also it's 28.35. Go. Okay, if you haven't figured out the full idea yet, it's totally fine. Let me give you some hint. I think at least you should be able to figure out why it's 28. Because if you look at this one, this is 30. And then the line from the zero here in the lower scale, we actually call it vernier scale. And the upper one is called the main scale. Uh, it's located at around 28. This is 28. And this is 29. So that's, that's why the thing that we are measuring right now is in between this. So that's why it's 28 point something. So how do we determine that something is by looking at, this is a hint, by looking at the main scale at the top and the vernier scale at the bottom, which line, which vertical line they actually perfectly align together. So that actually tells you the result. So I'll give you a few more seconds, try to figure it out. Okay, so if you look at 3, 5, because I mean you obviously know the answer, then if you look at the line in the lower scale, the vernier scale of 3, 5, that means between 3 and 4, uh, this line is the one that perfectly aligns with the one at the top, while the one for say 3 is a bit uh, towards the right and the 4 is a bit towards the left, so obviously in the middle that's where the one that aligned the best and if you look further things like uh, 9 that is completely off so uh, usually you look at the the part where it merged together and that the one in the middle will be the one that you are looking for so that's why uh, we know it's 0 0.35 okay okay let me give you one more practice and here you can see I block the numbers already and that's not because of I click the I icon. Somehow a few years back it, it, it works, somehow it can keep the answers invisible. But then now I don't know why, maybe the simulation is somewhat broken, it doesn't work somehow. But then anyway, I just cover it uh, through my video editing. So I'll give you some time, try to maybe pause the video, guess the answer and come back to us. Okay, so the answer is actually 68.85. So the first thing that you may need to see is the first line 
on the vernier scale that's a zero is lying on the 68 to 69 so that must be 68 point something so again for checking what is after the decimal place, you need to look at uh, the two vertical lines that are aligned together. So that will be on 85 here. So once again, you can see X0 and 90, uh, they are both offset by a tiny bit. So 85 is the one that uh, perfectly al aligned together. So that's why it is 68.85. Okay, so here is the example from the note. I will want you to try it, pause the video, try it out, and we'll explain the answers later. A few moments later. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, the reading, what you can do is uh, you can see the line here is in between 11 to 12. So it must be 11 point something. 11 point. So uh, you know the second question is about how you can get it. So you can say 11 cm plus something, right? And so the line that I think uh, they both are lines should be, I think, I think this one. Is it? or 65 i think i need to zoom in i think um wow it's actually it's actually quite hard to judge but then uh what i could see is these two is kind of symmetrical right and so i'm actually guessing uh 65 should be the one that is uh actually uh, after the decimal place so i'll, I'll say 11.65 so um the, the way that how you get it should be 11 cm plus 0 0.65 cm okay so that goes into 11.65 cm uh, one thing that you may want to pay attention when you do in the future question is uh, looking at the unit right so it might be different they may provide you mm or some other things okay and the last question is about uh, why do we often prefer using this the vernier caliper rather than the meter ruler so this is something to do with the precision. If you remember in the uh, previous video, we talk about the precision for meter ruler, measuring tape, and also the trundle wheel. And that's something to do with the smallest division that you can detect. So normally, if you use it for the meter ruler to measure, say, such a thing, which is 11.65 probably, if you use meter ruler, think about this. What will you measure? What you would get is probably 11.6 or 11.7, right? Because this is a digit where a normal regular meter ruler can read up to. While Vernier Caterpillar would tell us 11.65 cm, which is up to the second decimal place. So obviously using this can give us a more precise value. So lastly, some of you may say, hey, actually I know there's something called the digital caliper. Uh, you may have seen it in the DT department. Uh, and the reading was just shown digitally in the, on the screen without any thinking. It just tells you directly the values. So why do I bother to use the traditional Werner caliper? Um, I, I would say the reason is that uh, through learning how to read that, you can appreciate how people design the tool. If you try to think deeper, then you should understand how that actually works. If you just use the digital one, uh, then you will never know because the computer has done everything for you. So I think this is the beauty of learning how to design a tool. And that is also the joint of learning physics as well.